guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, I am Cleopatra O, and I'm back here with another video. So this is another video in the series of 20 and Married, and in this episode, I'll be talking about contraceptives. If this is something that's going to interest you, or if you know someone who will be interested to watch this, please share with them, and also stay tuned. So, sorry so sorry, I'll be um, checking my phones because I have my, my notes here and yeah, so let's just get right into the video. So, um, I'm just going to mention, I'm just going to begin to mention the fact that I'm going to be speaking um, about contraceptive based on what I have experienced and also another thing that we have to bear in mind is that contraceptive differ depending on your body so what may work for me might not work for you what doesn't work for you might work for me right so in as much as i'm giving out my experience i'm not telling you oh do not try this but i'm kind of giving you precautions that this can happen to you as well so some of the contraceptives oh let me just start how I um, started my entire journey of like finding out what was best for me was that I started by booking um, an appointment at the youth corner. So in Sweden we have like um, a youth center which is called Undus um, Mutagmi that is from I think from the age of 16 or 18 up to 25. So I didn't have to go to like um, the normal like gynecologist or anything. We had like a special one for that age bracket especially since I got married pretty young right so um yeah so when i booked my uh, meeting with her it was just like a kind of a consultation so she spoke about all the different type of um contraceptives that we have um she kind of gives um the general how would i say aftermath that could happen to you uh let's say bleeding um uh, gate waning and yeah, different things basically. And the ones she, she basically mentioned to me were pills, uh, different type of pills, which I'll come into later, um, contraceptive band aid. Unfortunately, guys, I have to check this because I only really know most of the names uh, in Swedish, so I wrote everything down in English, right? And if you see me looking down, sorry, I'm having my, my, my laptop as um, a live shoot, so that's why I have like my focus here and um, then there are also contraceptive ring hormonal loop or coil and contraceptive pole uh, copper coil and then obviously condoms so what when you get there they'll basically ask you what are you after are you after like a long-term contraceptive are you after something that you just put in there and forget about it? Maybe you're someone who doesn't like to... Let me not say you're forgetful, but you, you, you tend to forget this kind of things where you have to take every day. So maybe you just want something that uh, you just know that it's inside you and you don't have to take care of it until when it's basically time for you to take it out, right? So for me, I didn't want... Um, I think at that time I was that kind of person who uh, really listened to community and everything so I didn't want people seeing that I had contraceptive on although I don't know why I had that thought because I was gonna get married and that was why I was doing it right so all of this happened I got married in August 2019 and all this happened in July 2019 so I kind of tried to prepare myself also because I had already heard that it took a time for the body to adapt so I didn't want anything to you know spoil like my honeymoon time and everything god forbid I get sick or something like that so I wanted to like uh, start early. It might not even be that early, but I'll come to that, right? So I told her that I, want, I wanted something that um, no one could see and that no one would know that I'm actually taking pills, right? So then we um, the studies, she started speaking about some contraceptives that have hormones and those are the ones who tend to like really give you a change in like weight, um, maybe in terms of bleeding. Uh, and what I mean in terms of bleeding, I mean both bleeding a bit more than the usual to not even bleeding at all because there, there were people 
who are taking like my same contraceptive that I'll be speaking about shortly that stopped seeing the administration for like months so um, the first one and also all the con it's not everyone that can take all contraceptives so before you even start taking a contraceptive they will do like a proper checkup of your body to see if you're allergic to anything that the contraceptive might contain um, how your body reacts to, to some certain things if for example you are prone to something let's say you're prone to acne uh, or for example they even checked like uh, my family history, if anyone had a, had a high blood pressure, if anyone had had a blood clot, because there are some contraceptives that unfortunately are, uh, they kind of, when I say they induce or at some point, they could kind of lead you to get a uh, high blood pressure if you're someone who already kind of have the, the genes or the tendency to have that in the future, right? For me, it was like um, I had some family member who had had something, I don't want to mention it here, who had had something so uh, they were like, okay, we have to be careful, but what we can do is that you can still try it and then, we, and then you'll be checked like every three months to see what, um, what it turns into, what it looks like. So I then decided to go for contraceptive pole. So the contraceptive pole is basically like a small plastic pole that is filled with hormones and it's just basically inserted under your, your flesh and basically not even here, it's actually like just under your arm here and I felt that that was perfect, you know, I was going to keep it there for three years because that, that's how, how long you keep it for. You keep it for three years no one knows about it, no one sees it, and it's just perfect, right? Because I didn't want to, like, have, forget to take pills or something like that, right? And, I mean, it sounded like something that was going to be good, right? So I was like, why not? So, um, that I did, I... If only I knew that I was going to open a YouTube channel, I would have vlogged the day I went to take in this poll. Guys, I, 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 <laughs> I almost cried. It was painful, I'm not even going to lie. It was painful. And the thing is that when it came, I was like, ah, how is... I mean, it's not, it's not big. It's actually small. But I was just like, how is, how is it just going to sit on, the, <laughs> on the, my arm for like three years, right? And it actually comes with like a small certificate that you always have to have. Like, I always kept it in my purse. Because apparently if you had an accident or you're about to have a, a surgery or something you always have to present a certificate so that they knew that you had a pole under your arm and yeah guys when I inserted it I could really feel apparently she was like you're not supposed to like you're not supposed to feel anything that you have that you have something under your arm but I felt it I think it was just because I was just too tense or something but I felt it for for a while I'm not gonna lie and then you know people didn't know that I'm going to put the pole and then they'll just come and just like ah! that was so funny I'm not, I'm not going to lie so I was always walking like this like for at least like like the first three days, I would say first three days, I was always like very careful of me not hitting my hand or anything. But guys, <laughs> the following months, oh Jesus, hey, I was like, is this what women go through? <laughs> I'm very sure that that poll was just like, they never see me coming. <laughs> because I started bleeding. I started bleeding like normally my menstruation was like seven days so already I was someone who had like heavy flow seven days and my seven days turned to into 14 and gradually was about to turn into 21 and I was like how on earth am I supposed to be bleeding for this long and if I'm supposed to be bleeding for this long why exactly am I having a contraceptive because there is nothing that can be done <laughs> right but so at first I was like, oh, anyway, they already told me that you, you well, let's say you have like a probation period of between three to six months where you have to wait and see how your body reacts. And anything that happens between these three to six months um, is basically not say let me not say meant to be ignored, but it's meant to be like, okay, it's just because you have that right. But then if it's if it continues 
for the then after these three or six months then you you can like take it out and then know that your body is basically saying that i'm sorry but this visitor we are not taking it in so every time i was like trying to endure trying to endure trying to endure until it became worse to the extent that i traveled to switzerland i remember that there was a time i couldn't even board my flight back home because I couldn't wake up, I couldn't stand up from my bed, I couldn't get up from my bed because I had so much pain in my joints. There were times where it felt like I couldn't feel my legs anymore. I was like, my muscles were, were crying, like they were literally on fire and I was bleeding and bleeding and bleeding. Like there was even like a day, I think we were on the bed and I was bleeding so much and my husband was just like, like it looks like I was bleeding like someone who was literally having a miscarriage. Like I could remember how many times I would go to the toilet to change like I think bathing and showering that time was like three times at that point because <laughs> it was just too much to wash out right so when I got back I I tried going back to the youth center but as soon as they asked me the day that it was inserted they were like oh no you have to wait because of the probation time right I'm just going to be calling it probation time because I don't know I don't know what to call it testing time or something like that right so yet again it was time for me to choose something else and um, another one that was basically uh, suggested to me was the band aid so it's basically um, uh, a band aid that you put on your body and you have to basically be changing it uh, once a week and for three weeks and then when you are really like to have your menstruation so they are basically the one who kind of decides when you want to have your menstruation but obviously it should be like every three weeks right and like after every three weeks so every three weeks you're meant to then remove it totally so that you can start your menstruation for that week but i remember she told telling me that you couldn't like put like you couldn't repeat the same place for the band aid so <laughs> I don't, maybe it doesn't, maybe we have people here who uses the band-aid. Um, I might not be making sense, but at that moment I was just like, wait, what? I cannot repeat, I'm like, my body will get finished at some point. <laughs> like, so maybe she meant that you cannot reuse it, like, reuse the same place immediately, right? But for me, it was just like, oh, no, I can't do that. Uh, no, 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 I can't do that. And especially, I was just like, okay, what about when I have to, like, shower? What happens? It was just a lot coming to my head and I was like, it really doesn't feel like a very, very secure, you know? Like, the next thing that was suggested to me was basically um, this, um, the contraceptive ring. Yeah, you basically have to insert it for three weeks and then you take it out so you can have your menstruation, just basically like the eight band and then, um, and then you put in a new ring and I was like... <laughs> I am definitely not going to be playing with my down there for all <laughs> every three weeks. So it was just like a no, 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 no. And that is when she now spoke about um, the hormone loop. So basically you have the hormone loop and you have the, is it uh, copper? Yeah, copper, copper loop. So one is basically with hormones and one is with, um, without. But for some reason, the one without usually makes you bleed more. From what she said and also from what I've read I don't know why but for me it was just like I didn't want to so I have had, had, had ex so my mom actually had used I think the hormone loop and personally she didn't like it although that was like in the back in the 80s right but um, so she didn't really she really told me that okay don't go down but I wanted to know more about it already right so from some people i'd had like the hormone some of some the hormone was good for them the copper was good for them but one thing was that when um when they had when they came to meet with their husband or with their partner some of their partners had testified that they had felt the the copper when they were meeting together and i was like no nah, i'm not gonna put my husband through that right <laughs> so i was like next <laughs> and the next thing then was the pills so one of the reasons why she also mentioned the pills to me now backstory is that from since my entire puberty time i've been someone who has been prone to cramps like real cramps like i don't eat i don't do each other i don't even go to school pills comes in different variants once i take these are from sweden so i 
I I still go back to Sweden just to take these ones because I when I moved to Germany I basically took this to them but they did not have the exact same brand so they just checked the um, uh, is it milligram or micrograms? Micrograms, okay, micrograms, and they just tried to find something that was basically almost the same, like pharmaceut pharmaceut pharmaceutically, yeah, pharmaceutically. I don't know, the English is not coming. <laughs> so, but when I used it, hi, pain. <laughs> I was in pain and I was squatting all the time that I've never felt before. So I was like, no, I'm going to go back to Sweden and continue taking it from Sweden. So this is the Prionel. I don't know if you guys can see. No, it's not focusing. Oops. But it's basically Prionel 28, it's called. And it comes like this. So I don't know if you guys can see. I think you guys can see. So we have like, um, we, it's basically like four rows. And that stands for the four, four weeks in a month. And the last row has um, yellow peels, while the rest are, are white peels. So the rest white peels, the white peels are peels that contain that con contain hormones, basically to protect you. And the last peels are the ones that don't contain hormones, and you are basically meant to. Yeah, I think they don't contain hormones. If I'm not mistaken, yeah. And they basically make you. Um, have a menstruation so yeah so what I do basically is that you have to choose a time that you're going to always continue taking it and yeah so pills are very very different the only bad thing and one other good thing with pills is that it actually prevents uh, cancer of the cervix if I'm not mistaken yes cancer of the cervix so it was just like it, it, it came with all other things that were like okay okay it's not that bad it's actually not that bad did I feel any any changes with these oh uh, yes weight gain I gained weight so I will say like all of my weight gain is specifically from contraceptives but I will say they, they played a major role um, in the weight gain because I started getting so hungry <laughs> actually the midwife already told me she was like just so you know if you're someone who does not eat you will eat and if you're someone who already eats you eat more <laughs> and that was my case right but what I like about this is the fact that I can control my menstruation I'm supposed to ha I'm supposed to be on my, on my menstruation next week and I'm like eh, psych jump so you can literally jump the last row and go back to another line of the white ones to jump your menstruation basically skip your menstruation so it was it's good and there are some people she even told me that there are some people that, that go six months without having menstruation but for me i feel like it's a cleansing of the body so why not oh, right for me i would say that pills have been very 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 good for me I'm not even going to lie and you also need to understand that you might not be able to take pills the bad thing with pills is that it's, it prones you to blood clot. So if you have someone in your family who has had, who has or has had blood clot, you might not, you will not be allowed to take pills. And if you have someone in your lineage who has uh, or has had high blood pressure as well, you will not be allowed to take pills. What happens sometimes is that if there is, if for some reason pills is the only thing you can take they would actually put you to test for the three months so for the probation time or sometimes even just like one month and you have to come in and take your your pressure and basically to see that there is no changes as soon as they see that there is any slight change they're just going to take you off the the pills immediately so that's how i work for the pills and as well this prionel is just one of the thousand types that we have so this is called the 28 um map peel we have the 21 so the 21 is basically just like this just just three rows instead and then you have to control yourself on how you want to do the peel as well when you open the the box it comes with this is not a sponsored ad or anything i'm just <laughs> i just want to inform people so it comes with these stickers it's in swedish but i don't think you can no, you guys can't see right. But it's basically just written Monday, Tuesday, all the days of the week. 
So you basically just stick it here because the first, you can see that the first place here is red and that's the start. So you put the day you took your first peel and then you have the days of the, of the week so that you, you don't um, uh, miss, uh, miscount. As I was saying, they, they have different ones. So sometimes if you are prone to acne, they will give you the ones that um, maybe would not because depending on how your body is they will ask you a lot of questions so you can just tell them oh you know what I'm prone to this I'm prone to that and then they will just give you the the how would I say the pills that that matches your body the most so that you don't have so much um, so many changes in and there was also this option for example about the in there's this injection I don't know what it's called actually I, I think I forgot to write that down but there's this injection that she also spoke about that you could take uh, but the only bad thing with it is that when you now want to uh, start uh, conceiving you have to go for another injection that basically cleans down that liquid that is in your body but it takes like one almost one year for you to return like as fertile as you were before so yeah i've been talking so much but i really hope that uh for maybe newlyweds or people who are about to get married and have been thinking about the perfect contraceptive to use i hope that this has given you like a guide or maybe you have even given maybe you have now decided what you want to go for so yeah thank you so much for watching this video thank you for staying for staying tuned and i guess i'm just going to see you in my next vlog or in the next episode of 20 and married. I still remember your girl and Cleopatra O and stay safe. Bye!